to check out if this motor is any good and tranny is good so let's take off the hood take off the radiator support and let's put a temporarily radiator so I could drive it and fix the tail lights just probably gonna zip tie it somewhere now where I have lights I still have plates until the end of the month so yeah same thing with those tail lights just to go for a test drive and then do a compression test on it later. So just took out the hood and I got cut up. The hood scoop fell on me and cut me. So tomorrow I'll put it in the garage and I'll start taking off all this stuff. And then put a new radiator or a used radiator for me either Smurf or this red one right here. Um, and just put it in there, make sure it drives and all the gears are good before I decide to even put it onto this car. So let's work on this. Let's put it in the garage. It's empty now. It's still a little coaster. It has a TRD exhaust. So I remove all the stuff and it looks like the radiator is still good. Um, there are just some things that were um, obstructing the fans, but I took care of it. All it's gonna need is a new reservoir and I'm gonna bleed it, put everything together, bleed it, leave the reservoir right there and then go for a test drive. Hopefully the motor's still good good compression and then we're able to put it on that silver one over there so crossing my fingers so yeah time to Leave this system so we're putting distilled water because i don't want to use coolant on it since i might have to take out this motor so, let's start the beating process come on baby i might just start it earlier there you go oh heater on full blast reason I took it out is just in case it was leaking water I wanted to do it outside but that for me just pumping it and that's a little trip that we had but it should be good I don't see no leaks so went for a test drive and all the gears work except the clutch went out um, so now we're gonna do a compression test we got to get rescued by the mamalona so got stranded a couple of blocks away so we're gonna take out the spark plugs the engine cover and um plug the injector since i don't want to get flooded um and take out the spark plugs coils spark plugs 
and do a compression test. I actually bought one already because I use it a lot instead of renting it. So. Not bad. That's the first cylinder right there. About 220, 230. Next cylinder two right there. About the same. So looking good. Two more to go. So that's number three right there. Not bad. So there it is. About 220, 230 all the way around. So healthy as motor for 190 something miles. Only thing that the lift doesn't work and the clutch gave out. So motor is ready to come out almost. I did everything on the top. Basically the wire harness, the grounds that it has. The only thing I have to do on top is disconnect this AC compressor. And that's about it. Everything else is good. I took off the slave cylinder. All that's left is the headers and axles and the AC compressor motor mounts of course but this car this motor is ready to come out today <laughs> so that side is already done i need to do this side and i forgot about the power steering pump but I'm gonna leave the power steering pump there. I'm just gonna remove the hoses. So gotta drain all that fluid from here. So there it is boys motors out i just gotta take the mid pipe and the rest of the stuff in the back the exhaust so there it is trd exhaust is out i took off the mid pipe too try to put it somewhere over there because i'm not gonna use it right now so now to put the wheels back on and roll this motherfucker over there probably gonna put it next to smurf on that side or on this side because i gotta bring in that silver one next oh it's a never-ending story